Mr. Mowers, the president has told Americans not to let COVID-19 dominate them, that they're going to beat it. But more than 220,000 Americans have died from the virus so far, including 469 people in New Hampshire. New coronavirus cases in the U.S. continue to climb, and some hospitals say they're close to ICU capacity. Is the president's view that people should not be afraid of the virus because it's easy to beat realistic? Well, Monica, thank you so much. You know, it's a tragedy any time that we have a loss of life, of course. You know, I've taken this pandemic seriously from day one. It's why I was the first candidate in the country to call for travel restrictions from China, something, by the way, that Congressman Pappas opposed at the time, even sponsoring legislation that would have That's restricted the ability to do it. It is true, That's not true. And not only that, um, I've worked on these issues before. I was chief of staff to Dr. Deborah Burks. I worked with her and Dr. Fauci to implement our global HIV AIDS program. It's a program that we showed how American leadership can tackle a global pandemic that so many people think is impossible to take on. We need to take a lot of those same uh, results and lessons we've learned from that to apply to this pandemic. We need to make sure that we continue to follow all safe protocols while continue to ramp up testing and diagnostics. We need to continue to ramp up rapid testing, which just last week was announced is now available to first responders here in New Hampshire. We need to invest in a safe and effective and reliable vaccine. Those are the steps we need to take and put politics to the side and get something done. Congressman Pappas, you were invoked 30 seconds. Well, thanks very much. And it hasn't taken long for the negative attacks and the baseless attacks to already start. And at this moment in our history, we've got to focus on what we can do to get the job done in Washington. And we need a better resto response from this administration. My opponent has been a cheerleader for the Trump administration every step of the way. They hid valuable information from the American people that was needed to keep us all safe. They politicized the use of mask wearing. They called testing a double-edged sword. And just this week, they've undermined Dr. Fauci and other public health officials that are trusted voices in this country. So we need leadership that's going to trust the public health community and ensure we can communicate those messages to the American people to keep us all safe and do what we can to save lives. That's time. A question on Dr. Fauci and testing now for Monica Hernandez. Congressman Pappas, right now, the U.S. is testing nearly a million people a day and multiple large scale vaccine trials are underway. And Dr. Anthony Fauci says a vaccine could be available by early next year, which is record time. Are Democrats too pessimistic about how far the country has come? Well, we need to get help to the American people as quickly as we can, and we continue to need to ramp up testing. You know, we're seeing about a million tests a day in this country, but we really need to be at three to four million tests a day to protect all of our frontline and essential workers and everyone who's out in the community. Testing's the best way that we can stay ahead of COVID-19, make sure we're identifying it, isolating it, doing the contact tracing that's needed to prevent the spread. Now, we're lucky here in New Hampshire that our numbers are low, but we all have to stay vigilant to keep it in that place. And this means that Congress needs to act to provide the necessary resources, both in terms of the personal protective equipment and supplies, but also to ramp up our testing effort. We desperately need these resources. I'll continue to call on FEMA and the administration to deploy them in a way that can save lives here in New Hampshire. And when it comes to a vaccine, we hope and pray this is approved as quickly as possible. We need a vaccine that's going to be safe and effective to protect us and allow us to put COVID-19 in the rearview mirror. And that means we need to pass a package that allows us to ramp up the deployment of a vaccine and make sure that we have the materials necessary to get it out as quickly as we possibly can. 